What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet moveset guide. Series 2 is about to start so we need to start talking about Paradox Pokemon, okay? I kind of held off on talking about Paradox Pokemon just until they were allowed in play and now in Series 2 we are going to be able to start using these and I want to break Great Tusk down in this video. I think Great Tusk may not be one of the best of the Paradox Pokemon, like it's not top tier, like we're looking at like Iron Hands and Iron Bundle top tier, right? But Great Tusk is still a very solid option and it's going to be a very popular Pokemon, especially considering what Paradox Pokemon... Uh, uh, outside of this are being used in the format so if this is your first time here on the channel make sure you are sub we're trying to hit the goal of 5,000 subs by july we are just scooting right now we are on the track to hit that goal so please if you find any of my content entertaining subscribe and also check out the discord with people over there hanging out playing pokemon all the time but let's get into it so like i said at the start of this video i don't think great tusk is like top tier by any means uh, in terms of paradox pokemon i would say it's like a b tier paradox pokemon maybe sneaks its way into a tier the further we get into series two we see how the meta develops uh but it's just a really solid option so i've got a couple different sets and i'm going to talk about uh the ev spreads and other ways you could play these sets um so first up we have booster energy just basic booster energy stuff headlong rush is really really powerful it's basically ground type close combat right but we also have close combat here and then we have knockoff and protect now knockoff you can kind of play around and be kind of um, cheeky with it. You could change out like Rock Slide or like Play Rough. This has a pretty good move pool. Uh, it even gets Ice Spinner. So you, there's a bunch of different moves you could run instead, but I find Knock Off to be really solid on Great Tusk. Uh, the EV spread is just 4 HP, 252 attack, 252 uh, special defense with an adamant nature. This is very similar to how we were running Hariyama in Series 1 with Trick Room setups, where you max out the attack, max out whatever the weakest defense stat is, and then uh, go from there. But um, alternatively, which I've been running a lot more, uh, for this pokemon is something like this and running jolly nature instead because actually if you max out the speed on great tusk and give it a jolly nature you outspeed timid goldango which is huge because you're a huge counter to it then with headlong rush uh being able to just deal with that pokemon also having knockoff uh in terms of terra typings there's a bunch that i think are good i think it's more beneficial to run like a defensive terra on this pokemon so something like fairy um fairy or running grass or water all very beneficial under this pokemon uh the next set is assault vested uh again max speed because outspeeding goldango is just huge right because goldango is such a threat but this one's assault vested with headlong rush close combat knockoff and play rough again these last two moves can get rotated around i think play rough's pretty solid right now because of the number of dragon types that are seeing so much play with like um dragonite seeing a lot of use roaring moon seeing a lot of use um dragon types are very very prevalent but then also like fighting types like iron hands if they don't waste their terror on iron hands this could be a really solid option if you don't want to like lower your defenses right uh so this is just a more bulky spread this is just something i kind of threw together it doesn't have any like actual meaning uh you can calc it out but you know building something a little more bulky because you have these salt vests and you don't have to dump as much into the special defense category means that you can give your evs a little bit more wiggle room to go into other categories then we have clear amulet and clear amulet i think is actually a really solid option if you're running it with with like a tailwind setter um that's already using booster energy like if you already have another paradox pokemon that's focusing on your booster energy like rory moon tailwind is super common right now um this is a really solid option to avoid arcanines which i think are going to have an increase in use i made a video talking about that um it's just a really solid option to avoid dropping stats right uh, so I think it's a very, very good item for this particular Pokemon. And this is just, you know, protect knockoff. You can, you can rotate this and mess with it however you want. If you want Rock Slide uh, to deal with like Flying Terror, Roaring Moons, that kind of thing. I think this is a very just powerful Pokemon that you can do really big like one hit KOs with. Um, I think it's just very solid, especially if you look at Pokemon that are popular right now. Again, Roaring Moon is seeing a lot of play. It doesn't like getting close combated by this Pokemon. Or if you look at like Iron Hands is incredibly popular right now iron hands if it doesn't tear into a grass type um hates great tusk it hates it um because you can just simply go in and headlong rush it and knock it out right so great tusk plays super well into that arcanine like i mentioned is going to see an increase in play especially if you're running a clear amulet uh headlong rushing into an arcanine is a fantastic option for dealing with this pokemon i think it's definitely going to see more arcanine specifically is going to see more use uh, because we're seeing less King Gambits and less Annihilates, I think it's going to be uh, more and more prevalent. Another Pokemon that uh, we still see a decent amount uh, in Series 2 is Poison Terra Garganical. This Pokemon just headlong rushes into it, right? That was the big thing and why Poison Terra Garganical was so good is because we didn't really have a really valid option for going into it with really strong, hard-hitting ground types, right? Now we do in Series 2. So I think this is going to be a great counter to this particular Pokemon. 
um going into series two now in terms of teammates uh for this pokemon i think that roaring moon is a great one because i mentioned already the combo of like tailwinding uh and giving this booster energy and then using like clear amulet on this pokemon uh because it just makes this so much faster with tailwind and then you're able to go in and just start doing big hits with headlong rush and close combat and things like that also mousehold is kind of fun right now mousehold with this is pretty cool because you have the follow me option uh which is great and then you also have the option to um you know helping hand right um so that's a really solid option for dealing with uh giving this bonus damage or like redirection right mousehold and friend guard is super good for this uh another pokemon is azumarill i've been messing around with with great tusk azumarill is really fun because you can switch into a water type attack if you're running a grass terra you can deal with that pretty effectively uh with azumarill um switching into uh a fairy type attack you know with flutter mains running around uh, a lot of valid options of rotation with Azumarill and Great Tusk. I think it's a really solid combo. So again, going back to this uh, EV spread, the big thing is if you're running a Trick Room team um, and you're looking at the stats here, we're going to take Jolly off just so we don't have the speed, right? You're still 107. You're still 107 with this Pokemon. So you're still pretty fast. So you need to be aware of that. It, it's still a valid option on a Trick Room team, but you need to be aware of the fact that a lot of Pokemon are going to still be slower than that. Uh, so you just kind of got to be mindful building into a trick room team. I still think Great Tusk has some valid playability on a trick room team. You just got to be careful because um, it's still I mean, that's pretty fast still for uh, no speed investment at all. 107. You're still going to be uh, rushing around the field. So just something to keep in mind. I know a lot of people are thinking, you know, it's a big, slow elephant. Uh, <laughs> I can run trick room with it. Just be mindful of that right there. Uh, it's just a really, really fun Pokemon. And I think it's going to see a fair bit of play here in series two, at least. Um, I think just with Iron Hands being as prevalent as it is, this is just going to be a really solid option. Now, when the legendary Pokemon get added, I don't know how much this will see play or when or like Ursaluna comes in. I think Ursaluna is just a better ground type Pokemon, uh, especially with guts and access to that kind of stuff. Like if you look at Ursaluna, um, it's just a beefy, beefy Pokemon and run it with like Flame Ward. And then you get Stab Facade. You get Stab Facade and you get Stab Headlong Rush or Earthquakes uh and it's just a powerhouse of a pokemon look at those stats right so i think ursa luna is just going to see more use than this once ursa luna is added but right now great tusk is a fantastic option now let me know in the comments below what you think would be a fun set for great tusk if you've already been messing with it play testing it because uh these are not the only sets that you can use obviously these are just some stuff that i've been testing and think are a good starting point for people that want to use this pokemon also if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future i post daily competitive pokemon content so check out the channel for if you need any other guides and stuff like that also check out the discord with people over there playing pokemon all the time uh in terms of moving forward with the moveset guides i'm planning on doing most of them in showdown like this because it's easier to break down different moves and stuff that the pokemon can use and show different teammates and things like that uh versus using the graphics like i used to but the graphics will still come in for like shorts and tiktoks and things like that finally if you want to see more from me check out this video where i talk about my iron bundle team which is super fun for series two really really fun team it's a variation of the tinkaton team that i ran in series one check it out and also check out this video uh where i talk about how to handle iron hands which is going to be a very very popular pokemon moving into series two but until until next time. Peace.